So you're trying to choose between a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage, and maybe you've watched some of our other videos going into more detail, the differences, but let's talk just about Medicare supplements and what's going on in that market. Medicare supplements, uh, the total amount of people that have a Medicare supplement in the country um, in 2022, the last time we have data, was about 14 million people. And that's about a 1% decline from the, the prior year. So MedSup enrollment is slowly going down. So here we go, we're slowly going down, which makes sense because Medicare Advantage is going up. That's largely because of all those nonstop TV ads you see with Joe Namath, JJ Walker, William Shatner, all those ads constantly saturating the airways and people are like, oh, cool, I want that. Have you seen any ads about Medicare supplements? No, you don't see that. Medicare Advantage is much more profitable for their insurance company than Medicare supplements. They can afford to run a ton of ads. They can't afford to run ads to tell you the value proposition for a Medicare supplement. So I'm not shy and I said that when I turn 65, I will buy a Medicare supplement. That doesn't make me a hypocrite because we, th we sell thousands of Medicare Advantage plans. I'm gonna buy what's best for me. Hopefully you'll buy what's best for you based on your health, your budget, the state you live in, the products that are available, and then your overall feeling about your future, your future health, your life expectancy, and your feeling about insurance, about risk. Some people are more cautious, some people are more aggressive. So we see that it's slowly going down. We expect that to continue as people continue to take refuge in Medicare Advantage. And part of the reason they do is because Medicare Advantage can have zero to no monthly premium. This is interesting, who buys what plan? This is the vast majority of people over here, they have an F because they were grandfathered in prior to 2010. But then now the number one plan that people are buying if you're just getting ready to retire is hands down a plan G. You will see plan N over here has made some inroads. I talk a lot about how I like plan N, um, but most of the plans, people aren't buying it. They're buying a G, period. Those are the people that already had the F. So this shows you how much profit they're making, premium versus claims. And you can see they're making less profit every year. So if an insurance company is making less profit, that means you will be paying more in rate increases. So as MedAdvantage starts, keeps growing and MedSup shrinks, the people that are keeping a MedSup typically are people that are older and sicker. And so that makes it more expensive, which means your rate increases will continue to go up. So as long as you know that, we're cool. I tell everybody that when you buy a MedSup or Medigap, that you might not be able to hold it your whole entire life. So at 65, it's not that much more expensive. Um, it's a lot more expensive than a zero monthly premium if you're comparing it with a Medicare Advantage, but it's affordable. A Medicare supplement at turning 65 is affordable. At 66, it's 67. But if they're continuing to grow up to, to increase in price five to 10% or more, Every year, you can see after three, four, five years, you're like, hey, I'm on a fixed income. When is this going to stop? And the answer for most carriers is it's never going to stop. Um, there might come a point where you can't comfortably afford your Medicare supplement. Call us. That's when we can research options of you possibly moving to another less expensive option. You have lots of options. Let's find one that does fit your budget. While you can comfortably afford a Medicare supplement, that is what I would do. That is what I wish for all our clients. Now, there's people that don't want it. That's up. They're like, I want Med Advantage. I've seen the ads and I love all the extras, all the extra benefits that you won't get in a Medicare supplement. A Medicare supplement will not give you uh, access to low cost hearing aids or a hearing exam or very large dental benefits, um, transportation to and from the doctor, the hospital. It won't give you money back on your Medicare Part B costs. It won't give you a grocery card. All those you will find in private Medicare Advantage based on the zip code where you live, they may or may not be available. So if they are available, you're like, hey, I never go to the doctor anyway, I'm very healthy. A lot of people prefer to go the Medicare Advantage route. And then as they get older, they think, okay, I'm gonna jump over to the MedSup route to be safe better safe than sorry. So we have people moving all around from MedSup to MedAdvantage and MedAdvantage back to MedSup. The, the, your ability to move between Medicare supplement plans varies dramatically on the state that you're in, the state laws. And your ability to move from MedSup to MedAdvantage 
is guaranteed every year, regardless of your health. That's during the last three months of the year. So you can always go to MedAdvantage. But if you have MedAdvantage and you want to later go back up to Medicare Supplement, you can do that anytime within the first year. You have a one-time trial right period where if you had a Medicare Supplement and you move to MedAdvantage, you're guaranteed to go back. They have to take you regardless of your health. That's a one-time trial right. So if you've been on MedAdvantage two, three, four years, and now you're like, ah, I'm getting nervous. I think I'd like to go back to a Medicare Supplement. Now you have to answer the health questions. So I'm not saying it's impossible, but it might be difficult based on your questions. That's what we do. We will research it. We have robust computer systems. We represent over 62 different insurance companies and we will give you options. So if you're looking at a med sup option, you're in good company, especially people that are um, wealthier or people that are conservative or people that are already sick. So if I'm already sick and I already have cancer, I don't want a med advantage because I'm going to pay 20% chemotherapy and radiation. I want a Medicare supplement plan G. If I already have kidney dialysis, if I already have big, bad health problems that run in my family, I probably want to take refuge in a Medicare supplement. Less out-of-pocket risk, more fixed costs that I can understand. I'm not confined to any network and go to any doctor, any hospital. But then again, you have to understand that the price will continue to go up every year. And that's okay. As long as you can comfortably afford it, we'll stay there. When you can't, we're going to give you other options. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment if you have a specific question. Always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.